Hi there, this is Webzier. In this video, I will show you an example of the continue keyword in Java on IntelliJ IDEA. So I have my for loop here where i goes from minus 10 to positive 10. Now all I'm going to do is put a print statement inside that prints 100 divided by the value of i. In simple words, if i is minus 10, then 100 divided by minus 10 is going to be minus 10 and that's going to be printed. Now let's run the program and find out what happens. Click run at the top and notice that we have a weird statement here. It says exception in thread main java.lang.arithmetic exception. This simply means that you have tried to divide by zero somewhere and that has caused an error. Let's analyze it. When i was minus 10, we got the answer as minus 10. Now when i was minus 9, which would be the next step when you increment i by 1, in that case, we got 100 by minus 9, which gave us minus 11. Remember, it is integer division. And then we went all the way up to minus 1, where 100 divided by minus 1 gave us minus 100. But the next step, i becomes 0 in this loop at some point and 100 divided by 0 has triggered this error. So how can we avoid it? Simply by using the continue statement. Take a look at this. I'll say if i equals equals 0, in that case, I would like to continue or skip the remainder of this loop. Now when I go and click run at the top, I should be able to get the perfect answer. Notice that I get minus 100 when i equals to minus 1. And then when i is 0, this continue executes and it skips anything below the if condition, which in this case is the print ln statement. And then we jump directly to i equals to 1. And when i equals to 1, at that point we have 100 by 1, which is 100 that you can see over here. And 100 by 2, 50, 100 by 3 is 33. And you can see the values go all the way up to 11. So this is how you'll be using the continue statement in such situations to skip what is there inside the loop. Now this will work even inside a while loop or a do while loop. So hopefully you guys have understood how to use the continue statement. As part of the Googleables, be sure to search for continue versus break on Google. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a nice day.